hello friends now we will talk about the uh, spin half uh, system so in continuation with the last lecture uh, so what the why it is so important here to have the spin half system to consider here uh, is nothing but the uh, spin of the particle actually that make uh, ordinary matter uh, or that makes up the ordinary matter that is protons neutrons and the electrons uh, as well as the all the quarks and the all the leptons are uh, under uh, comes under this uh, spin half uh, systems so uh, there are uh, only two eigenstates corresponding to it because a single spin a spin half system have it can have the uh, spin up or the uh, spin down okay uh, so uh, here uh, there are only two eigenstates considered so the s and m okay so for the corresponding spin half there will be the um, uh, plus half uh, as a m as m value and the minus half as well as because as we have seen in case of the last lecture that the uh, m possesses the value of the minus s to the uh, plus s so what we can with the uh, interval of the uh, plus one so minus half and if i just add it then becomes a plus half so there are only two uh, states um, eigenstates present over here so this uh, spin up system is defined as a half half and uh, 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 what we can say there is a ket factor and the similarly spin down ket factor is defined as a, a half minus uh, half okay so now the general state of the spin half uh, particle uh, is uh, expressed as a, a two element matrix okay it is also known as the spin r1 okay and it is represented with the chi is equal to a and b a and b are the some arbitrary constants okay uh, that can be a real or the complex one okay and uh, we define here the a if i just take out the what we can have a into uh, what we can have the a uh, 1 into 0 uh, plus b into 0 into 1 this gives us the similar kind of the matrix so we define here the chi plus as a spin up uh, system or the spin up uh, particle and the chi minus is represented as the spin down uh, particle or the particle position in the uh, spin down so this uh, uh, if we just try to uh, operate this uh, here uh, so the spin operators becomes here as a 2 by 2 matri matrices which can uh, work out by noting their effect on the chi plus and the chi minus one okay so there uh, if we just try to uh, spin operators if we operate on it uh, what we can have we'll get this chi plus and the uh, chi minus effect on it so uh, from the uh, equation which we have uh, seen for the s square and the sz okay s square and the sz if i just flip my page then i can find out this equation s square uh, and the sz uh, equations here then uh, what we can get it uh, nothing but the when s square operates on the chi plus or the spin of uh, particle then that gives us the uh, what is the value uh, chi plus uh, is a spin up so the s is nothing but the half so when s square operates on its its eigen value is eigen value is s into uh, s plus one uh, h cross right so s is half here so what you can have half into half uh, plus 1 so that gives us the 3 by uh, 4 h cross square into chi plus as its uh, eigenstate similarly s square operates on the chi minus this will give us the uh, spin uh, s is half here so s into s plus 1 this gives us 3 by 4 uh, chi minus as it is so sz operates on the chi uh, plus state or so spin up says, uh, state then uh, it will give us the m h cross value so uh, m h cross into chi plus so what is m here that is nothing but the uh, half so here we got the equation uh, the chi uh, spin up system sz operated on it this will give h cross by 2 plus h cross by 2 i would say otherwise and here we can have the negative or the minus h cross by 2 that's its again uh, value again uh, going back to the um, equations for the uh, la raising and the lowering operators for the s plus and s minus here we, what we can have the s plus when operates on the sm states then that gives us the root of s into s plus 1 minus uh, m into uh, m plus or minus 1 h cross and its m value is increased by the uh, one unity or the uh, decreased by the one unit here okay so now uh yes when uh, the s plus operates on the chi state so this is a spin down state okay the state corresponding to the spin down so when uh, if we increase the state okay so the downs uh, 
okay down spin if we just operate the raising operator over here this will go up and this becomes a uh, spin off system over here so when chi operates on this uh, sorry s plus operates on the chi minus this gives us the spin will be flipped so spin up down will be becomes a spin uh, up and similarly when we just operate the uh, on the uh, s minus operator on the uh, chi plus state or the uh, up spin then uh, if it will reduce the to the uh, spin down uh, system okay similarly if suppose if the if we operate the s plus on the uh, spin up then there is no existence of the uh, 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 states above it so what we will get it we will get the nothing over here and similarly if we just try to operate the s minus operator or the lowering operator on the spin down then there is no existence of the more uh, lower uh, states here so that will give us the resultant as a zero one so this is uh, quite important corresponding to uh, it it's uh, raising and the lowering operators okay operated on the top and the uh, bottom uh, la rungs in on our uh, ladder one or the uh, existence of that particular state so now s plus or uh, minus is defined as uh, sx plus or minus isy so sx can be defined as uh, sx can be defined or can be uh, calculated from this is nothing but half s plus and uh, s minus similarly if we just subtract them together we will get the value of the uh, sy here so uh, just try to uh, here uh, just try to consider that the sx sy and sz are the uh, observables we will see in the latter moment okay so uh, sx when it is operated on the spin off system okay spin off system what is the resultant value of the uh, its uh, eigen value will be there so what we can have half s plus and s minus operates on the uh, chi plus so what we can have half s plus operates on the chi plus when s plus operates on the chi plus we'll get the zero we'll get the zero so here zero plus when s plus operates on the uh, spin down then we'll get the uh, plus h cross pi to its eigen value Okay, so and the but the spin will be uh, here uh, is uh, nothing but the uh, spin uh, chi minus because spin up uh, will get the spin uh, down one. Okay, similarly we can operate it on the uh, another state as uh, uh, S X which is operated on the down spin and that will give us the um, S X uh, operating on the uh, uh, spin down system. Then we'll get the H cross pi two and the chi plus state will be. Uh, 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 we will get it similarly sy will get the uh, sy operator on the spin up will get the spin down and similarly sy operates on the spin up will get the spin down with its eigenvalues as a uh, minus h cross uh, by 2i and a uh, plus h cross by 2i respectively okay similarly thus we can have uh, here the s square s square uh, which is going to get uh, some it's a uh, 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 2 by 2 matrix of corresponding to it is nothing but we know that its eigen value is a uh, 3 by 4 h cross square and corresponding eigen uh, or matrix is represent identity matrix that 1 0 0 1 and uh, from this uh, all this sx xy sz we can just write down the corresponding matrices for it so uh, for the s plus what we can have h cross into 0 1 0 0 and the uh, s minus we can have the h cross into 0 0 1 0 as its uh, matrices corresponding to it while uh, for the uh, sx and sy and sz okay here we define here to be the sx is equal to h cross by 2 0 1 1 0 uh, and sy ha have the matrix representation as h cross by 2 0 minus i i 0 and sz h cross by 2 1 0 0 minus 1 so here we define uh, to be the s is equal to h cross by 2 into uh, sigma but what is the sigma here sigma uh, we can have the three different uh, uh, components as x y and uh, z because s is a uh, total uh, spin angular momentum so it will be having the three components so corresponding we can have the x y z components are sigma x is represented as 0 1 because h cross by 2 is common everywhere so we can uh, here consider that the sigma x is equal to 0 Oh, 1 1 0 is refined sigma y is 0 minus i i 0 and uh, sigma z uh, is defined to be the 1 0 0 minus 1 so th these are uh, famous um, pauli spin uh, matrices okay here 
now uh, if we just look uh, closely to this uh, obviously if this is a operator spin uh, uh, angular momentum is a operator obviously sx sy sz are the uh, observables so here we can see here the sx sy sz and uh, s square are all hermitian one that's why they are the observables or the observables that's why they are the hermitian one s plus and s minus are the not observables here because uh, they are not observables they are the not hermitian that's why they are not the observables okay so here the eigenspin uh, eigenspinors of the uh, z component of the spin angular momentum uh, let's try to uh, consider uh, over um, here okay so uh, the eigenspin uh, spinors of the sz are given as chi plus state already we have defined as to be the one zero which is having the eigenvalue of the plus half h cross and chi minus will be defined as a, a 0 1 which is a spin down uh, generally we consider uh, having the its eigenvalue as a minus uh, h cross by uh, 2. So if we uh, just try to measure the sz on a particle in a general state chi okay here we have defined uh, the general state as a chi so we will get the plus uh, half h cross with the probability of the mod a square or the minus h cross with the probability of the mod uh, b square if we go back a little bit and try to understand the our early uh, initial definition of the chi is nothing but the a b so we can define here this is nothing but mod of a, a square and mod of b square gives us the probability corresponding to occurrence of that particular uh, state so and obviously that must be the normalized one so mod a square plus mod b square must be equal to the uh, 1 so instead if we just choose to measure the sx instead of the having the sz we can if we just choose the measure the sx then according to the general statistical interpretation the eigen values and the eigen vectors of the sx are uh, uh, given as okay general definition we have just considered so characteristic equation corresponding to it uh, is nothing but the minus lambda means uh, this is nothing but the s minus lambda i uh, determinant gives the zero gives us the value as a zero so what we can have minus lambda h cross by 2 h cross by 2 minus lambda gives us the zero its determinant value becomes a zero this is a characteristic equation so from this equation where we can have lambda square okay uh, plus multiplication gives us lambda square is equal to plus or minus h cross by 2 square uh, this will uh, give us the uh, two values of the corresponding uh, lambda that is nothing but the eigenvalues of this uh, particular state so lambda is equal to plus or minus half h cross so the expected values of the sx we are going to find and are the same as the uh, that of the uh, sz so the eigen spinors are so the corresponding eigen spinors are h cross by 2 0 1 one zero alpha and beta some arbitrary state is considered here alpha and beta so this will give us the plus or minus h cross by two alpha and uh, beta this is what we anticipated having the its eigenvalues are same as that of the sz so what are the eigenvalues of the sz that is nothing but the plus or minus half h cross okay so it is uh, operated on so what we will get it here from this one uh, uh, beta will give us the plus or minus alpha and alpha will give us the plus or minus beta so evidently the eigenspinors of the sx are chi plus for the x component okay x component is nothing but the uh, nothing but the half uh, 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 because it is uh, given to be the 1 and the 1 okay because 1 and the minus 1 okay 1 and the minus 1 but for the spin up will be in the plus 1 so if it is normalized one how to normalize this uh, uh, fact, uh, 1 1 representation and here is the 1 1 so this will give us the 1 by uh, 2 1 by root 2 it's a normalization constant so 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 yeah, where it is having the eigenvalue of the plus half here and the similarly the for the spin down system of the x component it will give us the 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 corresponding to the eigenvalue as a uh, minus h cross by 2 which we have found here at say eigenvalue as a plus or minus half h cross as uh, the eigenvectors of the hermitian matrix okay as the eigenvectors of a hermitian matrix they span the whole space okay they span the whole space so the generic spinner uh, chi can be expressed as a linear combination of the uh, them so what <coughs> here we define the chi is equal to a plus b by root 2 into chi plus x uh, chi plus of the x and uh, plus uh, a minus b of root 2 into chi minus of the x uh, component which we have uh, calculated over here so 
if we measure the sx the probability of getting the uh, eigen value as uh, uh, half h cross uh, is uh, nothing but the uh, square of this uh, its uh, coefficient so what we can have 1 by root 2 uh, root 2 the square is 1 half and the mod a plus b uh, uh, mod square okay a plus b mod uh, square and that of the minus h cross by 2 uh, is nothing but the half again a, a minus uh, b mod uh, h square so if we just try to add them together okay if we just try to add them together that will result us into the uh, one okay and that is the normalized case uh, or the probability of finding the you know, both the part or that party existence there within the given uh, state is uh, 100% of the one.